Yeah, you're muted. Don't say shit. Don't say shit, don't 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 say say it, don't What? Fuck or bugger? No, none of them two. Ah, shit. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> And we are live. Hello. hello Good hello. evening, everybody, and welcome to the new time slot for Bad Connection, and welcome to your weekly dose of this show. Hope you're all doing well, um, and please welcome back WN8 Vibes. How, How are you doing? doing buddy? How is everyone? Hope we're all having a, a good evening, a good evening so far. It's nice to see you all. Nice to see you. <laughs> Yay, finally. Yes, we've had, <laughs> we've had to move... Uh, the show nope. because of me not getting back till like dead on eight o'clock and then it's just rushing about so it's given me time to have something to eat sit down chill out for a minute then we can do, start off with the show and before we get started go fuck yourself sinner and Kerrick did you have to join in <laughs> did you have to join in seriously sorry <laughs> <laughs> so let's say hello to some people. Good evening, Dean, Craig, Bill, Sinner, Gary, Chris Doyle, Dion, uh, Gammy Jin. Gammy Jin, how you doing? Chris, it's my job to keep the punters happy, therefore I must join. Uh, I'll let you off then. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Everyone's having a go, at Danny, aren't they? Everyone's having a go at you. It, it's, it, I swear to God, it's pick on Danny Day today. It's becoming an Olympic event. I think they're getting medals. <laughs> Sorry, Dino. Mr. Devil Vapor. I do apologise. How are you, Dino? How are you doing? Legend Vapes, Mr. Wilkes. How are you, sir? Hi, Colette. Sir Devil Vapor. <laughs> CBW. It's Sir Devil Esquire. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Oh, sinner. Keep it friendly. <laughs> it is really, really pick on Danny Day today, isn't it? Sinner's got it on him. I can tell there's trouble brewing in that chat tonight. It's trouble brewing. There's always fucking trouble brewing <laughs> yeah, in right. that chat. Yeah, it's no different from any other day. <laughs> so how's the new job going Danny how's, uh, good, man. how's it turning out yeah it's all good it's uh, building up nicely uh, but yeah it's getting there nice really good. enjoying good, good. it oh how many have we got in the room We've got 26 in, let's wait a few more. Don't forget guys, to if you're enjoying the show, I know we've only just started, click that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And uh, don't forget to check out the NNA. It's all important. Don't forget to do your bit. Do yourself a favour and go and buy a battery wrap off them. Yeah, it's free because it's free to become a member, and if you if you do so wish, you can donate monthly, weekly, or whenever you want. It's the boring stuff that really matters. It's the boring stuff that really, really matters. They, they do fight for our right to vote, for guys. So, so we get the uh, boring bit out of the way. What are you vaping on today? All right. What I'm on today is. The Recoil RDA. On I still haven't the, tried uh, one of those. SX Mini G Class. You not know, tried one, Danny? Uh, any of that set up right there? No. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love the Recoil, mate. Love the re I don't like building on it, but I love using it. Building on it's a bit of a. Well, it, to be honest, it's an absolute ball eight building on it. Really? Yeah, it's a tiny little deck, mate. It's really small deck. Really small. Yeah, I don't find it. A lot of people find it easy to build. I don't. I struggle building it. Me, to be honest with you, I, I have a bit of a fight on my hands. But once it's built and you've got a nice build in it, the performance is brilliant. It's a really good RDA. Good. Really good RDA. Mr. Selford, yeah. how you doing, David? How you doing? 
I'm also on, which, which to be honest, has, hasn't left me hands since the minute it dropped through the letterbox. And that's the uh, SQ Squonker from Signature Tips. I absolutely love that. I love that device. It's brilliant. And I've also got on top of that the Dead Rabbit SQ, the 22 mil little bad boy. And it's also, just, just lately, Danny, it? these drip tips, just lately, since the drop, when you get the drop, it's got a little like a five ten drip tip, and it's eight ten fitting, but it's dead thin and tall, oh. and it looks mad on the drop. It looks mad. It doesn't suit it at all. And like when I first got it and I took it out of the box, I thought I'm never ever going to use this drip tip. I'm never ever going to use it. And one day I was messing about with it, and I just threw it on top of the dripper just to give it a go. And since then, I've been rocking these little like five ten drip tips. You know the thin, the eight ten fitting, but they're tall and thin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've yeah. been rocking the life out of them, and I and I, and I really enjoy them. I really more, I think, than the than the standard LP, the goon drip tips. Yeah. I don't know what it is about them, but I just I've been rocking them, rocking them. Really enjoying them, but yeah, just uh, something a bit a bit unusual. And I'm also on as always the goon V1, but she's got a Sunday best on tonight. She's got the Trinity glass tanks top on it and it's on the blackout broadside yeah. and in all three of them i'm trying these little bad boys little bro vape sent me these over just to give them a whirl i don't know if you wanted me to review them or what but he sent them over to me so thanks for that aiden and he sent me these drip cold sent me three of them and uh, i don't know what it is with them there's something in them and every time i vape them i absolutely cough me head off they're only a three milligram. The, the three milligram. I've added the nick shots to them. I, I, I don't know what the blend is of them. You know what I mean? I don't know what the blend is. What well, strength was the, was the nicotine shot? Seven. Pardon? What strength was the nicotine shot? A one eight, I think, or one six. I'm not sure. I was gonna say if it was um, a twenty, it could it, that could give you that harshness. It's just every time I have a go on them, they make me cough. I think it because it, it says here on the label, certified cold. It says on them, and, and I don't know if it must have must be laced. With, it's not menthol. It must be laced with coolada, and or, I absolutely or and they are cold. cooling effect agents. Oh, they are cold, and I absolutely cough me head off. Cough me off. There was seventy thirty apparently, and the nick shot that I put in was um, pure VG. Well, but they just absolutely get me coughing. Carrick has just put just slap some more VG in it. Could, yeah, could calm I do down do a little bit. I don't, I don't get on with um, like them kind of uh, juices to be honest with you. But n none of them has been as, as bad as that. I absolutely cough my head off every time I go on them. That's but weird. that's it. That's it, Danny. That's it for tonight. That's you. So that's me. <clears throat> I'm on the Tesla Y uh, two hundred and the. Vapeston Avatar Mesh Tank Nano review went up today. If you haven't got watched it yet, go and watch it. And in that, I've got the last little lot, the last dregs coming out of the bottle of Carnival from Wit Liquor. Really enjoying that liquid. Um, I've also got the Mage Mech kit. Um, in that, I've got some uh, Chub Full Chubs Butterface. Very nice liquid. Have you heard of that? Just, just a minute, Danny. Have you heard that uh, that remedy for it? Top the bottle up with some of the grease that comes off bacon when you cook it. Have you heard that as a remedy? No. Do you think that I might try that? <laughs> Dean won't give me a bum steer. I don't believe it. The devil vapor. No, no. He's it, probably right. He's probably right. I'll give I'm that also... a whirl. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Dino. Thanks, mate. I'm also on the um, Limitless slash iJoy RDTA mech, just the mod. With the mask RDA by Times Vape, and in that I've got some Joe's Juice Custard Supreme, and last but known means least I've got some the very very large, very very old Nautilus by Aspire on top of the Alien, and in that I have uh, strawberry and mango in six milligram. Sounds good. Strawberry and mango. Sounds good. Does does anyone else in chat struggle with mouth to lung? I do. Oh, hang on, Danny, have you had any uh, 
seepage to your battery if you have left no mate never had that at all Craig never mm. had that at all <laughs> yeah mouth so long sucks I, I, I just I don't know I don't know I have this more for the shop than anything else yeah but when I'm, when, when I'm sitting at home I like a bit of uh, mouth to lung every now and again I'm like the Rolling Stones mate I, I can't get any satisfaction can't get no <laughs> satisfaction I, I am the Rolling Stones mouth to lung just I don't know it must be different strokes for different folks I guess I just uh I, I, I can do either or. It doesn't really bother me. Doesn't it? No. Yeah. But what I found me is if if I, if I go on a mouth to lung, I might as well I might as well not bother. <laughs> I might as well not bother. So but like I, say, I, probably... I do it at work, especially if uh, we got a, a, a few a few customers in, and the new new vapors that you don't want to over cloud the thing out to intimidate them. So. Yeah. We go on the mouth to lung stuff when we got new vapors in. Yeah. So you just don't intimidate the people. I just wanted to give it a go because I want a mouth to lung. You know what I mean? I want a mouth to lung, but I just, I don't know. I just. I, look, I want the berserker, I do. Well, that's what I've got, but I'm not digging it. I've got to be honest, I'm not digging it. Perhaps I need to mess about with it a bit and, you know, I don't know, try different things in it, I suppose. Come on then, guys. You tell us what you're on as well. Why not? You're going to be our content for the week. See, uh, Gammy uh, Gin has just put uh, mouth to lung 12 milligram and uh, direct to lung uh, 3, 3 milligram. Yeah, perhaps I need to try that, Gammy Gin. Perhaps I do need to give that so a word. I've only knocked you up to a 6, so I don't yeah. want to really over nick myself. Yeah. I can imagine oh. putting one of them in it. Find me, Crow. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Sticking one of them drip codes in it. That'll give, that'll give you some throat hit, that. Devil's on the uh, GTRS V-Boy 200, what with the nice. Wotofo Nudge 24. Nice. And some so Soldier Mango. I've got a Nudge coming, Dino. Is it any good? I've got a Nudge. They're, they're meant to be really good for flavour. Yeah, I've already I took a bit of the I'll bullet do and our, our DTA box with black stairs to help get rid of my cold. Yes, that will get rid of your cold, definitely. Spell out Aspire Zelos Nautilus 2 sh Lemon Sherbet. Very nice. Rogue. Be Sounds good. From Exceptional Vapes. Rogue, Mac, Goon 1.5, Homebrew, Rice, Crispy Squares, Limitless Sleeve, Mac, uh, Did Nunny, Homebrew, Rhubarb and Custard. Ooh. Is the deck no good, Dino, in the, in the 24? It's on its way anyway, it's coming, so... Oh, oh, I'm original on top of the Zelos. Mouth to lung my own tobacco. <laughs> Dolores. Juice in a tank on a mud. <laughs> Straight to the point. I like it, Dolores. There you go. Easy to build, yeah. It's only See, a single call, the 22, isn't it? <clears throat> I think it's, it's a 24. I think the 24 is single, Kyle, isn't it? Yeah, you could dual call it. Is it? Sure. I really should keep up to date with these things, shouldn't I? Uh, Vupu 2 is a spy, Revo Donut Dude, Strawberry, very Zan. good juice. Oh, hey, brother. Hi, Zan. <laughs> lime cheesecake, you know what? Sounds good. Like a lime juice. Do you, Dan? Do you like a lime juice? Sometimes. Not all the time, like. Recently, since I got that um, that neon lime from IVG, I've, I've found myself going mad for lime juices. Do you, mm. do you go through stages you with different juices? Yes. And to be fair, my, fa my favourite juice ever will be 
uh, Finey Liquid's Lemon Meringue. It all depends if I can ever if we can get it in. Yeah. But that would be my all day vape any day of the week, I'm telling you. Yeah. Love, I love a lemon vape. A lemon vape, I'd just smash all day. Yeah. I've got two me. This one, this kangaroo custard, I, I, I can't, I, I just smash it in. I just smash it in. And it's like one of them juices where, you know, we get a juice and you go on it. And then you've not even got it the, the the cloud out, and you want to have another go on it. Yeah. That's that juice for me. That, and that, another one's um, you know tea. We fine. Oh yeah. yeah. You just you get greedy with them though, don't you? Yeah. You get nicked out in no time because you just don't want to put it down. And I've, and um, teas as well. That biscuit custard pudding by teas. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't leave. I'm a, I'm a cust- I love custards, me. Love custards. Love custards. You've had Joe's juice in, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that you... coffee one. Oh, my. Like, like caramel latte. Yeah, it's have, co- have, you, have you tried the Custard Supreme? Custard Supreme. No, I didn't get that one. Very, very good custard. I didn't get that very one. Very good custard. It's a good line, that, isn't it? It's a good yeah. line. Them juices are nice. Really nice. Yeah, because yeah, um, I met Dougie, who used to do uh, re- used to do reviews on YouTube, and he went off and helped these. Yeah. And uh, yeah, met him. He's not is nice enough chap, love. He's sending me a new one out, tease. He was he, he messaged me today and said he's sending me one out. Oh. So I look forward to getting that. They're they're always nice juices, though. Custard withdrawal. I get that. I get custard withdrawal. I get that a lot. I don't. No. I I can take. I take it or leave it with custards. They're very much like that, aren't they? The ve- yeah. Custards are very much like that. <clears throat> and I'll tell you something else as well, Danny. If you get a bad one, you get a bad one. Yeah. It's just like pure vanilla, some of them. Some of them are really, really it's like, bad. Um, Empire's Killer Custard. I smashed that within three days. Yeah. Absolutely smashed it because yeah. it's a really good custard. Then yeah. this one, I'll smash in about a week. You know, but others, yeah. I'll can just like, have a couple of hits here and there and that's it for me yeah I get Coolada withdrawal I don't I don't get on with Coolada me I don't know why I just don't seem to get on with it at all I don't mind a bit of Coolada it's more a menthol hit for me especially if I've got a cold yeah and you know I can smash it I can smash a flipping 10 mil bottle in an hour I, I use menthols me when I've got um when I get vapors tongue. I think desserts give you vapors tongue really badly when you when you use them as much as I do. I think they give you really bad vapors tongue. So I use it's called Frost by Element. Yeah. And I blob that in a dripper and just have a couple of soups on that and that sorts me out. And also coffee beans. Get your nose in a tin of coffee beans and that works for me as well. I think it resets your taste buds mm. and that works for me. But I, I get really bad um, vapors tongue me. Really bad. I think partly it's because I've never got a vape out of my mouth because I vape overly heavily. I think. Yeah, I do, especially now I work in a shop as well. Yeah, it's constantly in my hand. Well, I go in a vape shop near us, me, and there's a lad who works in there. He's he's the son of the owner, and um, <clears throat> he does a lot of hours in that shop. And he said, when I go in, he's never vaping. He vapes, but he never vapes when I go in. Good evening, Mr. Oh. Summerfield. So I asked him. I said, how come you never vape? He said, because I work in here. Don't appeal to me. I just, I just don't feel the need to vape anymore. I thought, if I worked in a vape shop, there'd be no juices left on the shelves. Yeah. Man. I'd be into all of them. But touch wood, I haven't had Viper's Tongue in about six months. <laughs> Dino. Teabagging? What's that, Dino? What's teabagging? <laughs> he, has, he has some uh, remedies he does, doesn't he? <laughs> don't Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Dino. You're really helping me out tonight. Thanks, mate. You've helped me out a lot. You've helped me out a bunch. <laughs> Dropping your balls into something. All right. <laughs> Take it. Not a tea bag. Not 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 a teacup. Hey, that, that, if you want to scold your balls, you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Dino. <laughs> 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 Not a full one anyway, Dino. Spill it on the carpet. No, not a cup of tea. (laughs) (laughs) 
apple cider vinegar mixed with water, best vapors song remedy. Everyone's got different ones, haven't they? Everyone's got different remedies for it. Do you, do you get it, Danny? Do you get vapors song? Like I said, I haven't had the touch wood in six months. Because I'm always switching between juices throughout the yeah. day. So I think that keeps my taste buds keep going. So, like I said, touch wood. For yeah. about six months, I haven't had it. I've found me a lot. Of, I've asked a lot of people about Vapor's Tongue because before I started doing all this, I used to really struggle with it. And um, I've asked a lot of people, and you find the people that don't get it regularly, they usually vape menthols or, or they vape like Coulardy juices, not heavy desserts. Andy Summerfield, vile yellow regurgitated snot. Not a fan then. <laughs> not a fan. What, what about <laughs> mint, mint custard? Got a lemon. No need for that, Craig. Uh, Andy Summerfield doesn't like menthol or custard, so we got to do him a uh, minty custard for Expo. Yeah. Not really, no. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's so horrible. I, I, I don't really get it at vape shows, really. It's horrible when you do get it. It's awful. Or when you get one of them head colds where you can't taste anything anyway. Yeah. No, but the last really. cold I had, I was quite lucky because I could still taste. Yeah. So that was quite lucky. Yeah. It must be. It could, it's different things, and it? it can be could be anything that causes it. Yeah. And the only one. Good evening, sir. How are you? So we've both noticed a real dearth in vaping news, haven't we, Dean? Uh, Danny? Yeah, there's not been a lot out, to be honest. The only thing I've heard about is Vandy Vape doing a, a bloke over <laughs> because uh, he gave him the design, which is now the Coiling Mini. Yeah? Yeah. Um, that was actually on Vic's WhatsApp. Was it? Uh, yes, yesterday. Basically, a they was asking for people to ship in the designs and they'll give them a shout out. Uh, one thing led to another. Uh, told him it, it, it wasn't going to work. Then it ended up being the Colin Mini. No, and, I see like, that. And there's I, nothing you can do. The fellas know what you can do about it. It didn't patent the idea or nothing. So. No, I see that. <clears throat> no, I see that. Frozen Custard by Max VG. What's that, Dino? Chilled custard. So chilled custard. I'm not sure. Not sure about custard that. by Max VG. Mm. Chilled custard. No, when no, no, like you get a cold custard out of a tin. I'm mm, guessing yeah. it's going to be similar to that, but with a coolarder effect, maybe. Well, that uh, that nitros, them cold brews, and I never fancied the idea of them, but everyone says they're brilliant. I hate the gorgeous, absolutely. <clears> gorgeous. I never fancy. I'm still keeping that little bit there of the uh, white chocolate mocha for a special occasion. Yeah, <laughs> just just when I just when I want it, just when I want it. I like custard out of the fridge. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. You don't know, do you? Until you try, you can't say until you try the thing. Gotta give it a whirl. Just throw the custard in the bit. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> and he's still going on about these custards, man. He must have a fetish on custard. I bet he babes in it, really. I don't think he's a fan. That's the impression I'm getting. I don't think he's a fan of the custard. I think he is. I think he he goes upstairs at night, <laughs> empties a load of tins in the bath and has a bath in it. Like that lemonade advert from years ago. Yeah. Popping down to the fridge. <laughs> Tanker of cold custard, he'd appreciate that. Of course, he will. I reckon. I like a peppermint vape, Dolores. I'm quite partial to a peppermint one. <laughs> I want to try Gwen's Fluffermint, which is like a marshmallow uh, peppermint, and I think there's something else in it which I'm not quite sure. But I want to try that because that's meant to be really nice. Yeah, I want to try any Higgy's juices, me. Never tried one yet. I I've tried four of them. Yeah. Which was 
orange cream soda, which was not near enough spot on to orange cream soda. All I wanted to say was that line from uh, Keen and the Kill. Yeah. <laughs> Who likes orange soda? <laughs> <laughs> um, Rice Krispies Foot Squares, that was another good one. And... What was the third one I had that from? Can't remember off the top of my head now. But I've tried their uh, black uh, black eyes challenge, yeah. which wow, knocks Strong. you right in the back of the uh, <laughs> back of the throat, mate. You tried that cinema soup as well, haven't you? You've had a go at that one. Oh yeah, I, I, I tried a bit of Bills um, yeah. back back at Expo. That, that, that nice? was actually quite nice, to be fair. For yeah. a coffee, cakey sort of vape, yeah, that was quite nice. Uh, I'll usually buy Fluffer Mint and Black Ice when I order from Iggy's. I really want to try Fluffer Mint. Dolores, are you in Canada? Do you, do you live in Canada? Yes, she does. I believe. Does she? What's the state of play in Canada then, Dolores? What's the what's the what's what's uh, the state of play vaping wise in Canada? Are you getting the same? They can't have any juices with nicotine, in, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. UK Andy, good evening, sir. How are you doing, Andy? Nice to see you. <laughs> Still getting to it, it's over. Crazy man, crazy man. I don't know why people over there just don't look at us and say, "Well, they seem to be getting on with it. That they that they're really promoting it." Yeah. Why don't we do the same? Oh, that's what I can't get in my head. I know it's more about the money over in the states and the Canada and stuff because they're losing a, a, yeah. a shitload of money every single day. But don't they want to like? Make people more healthier. Yeah, they're not. They're not concerned about the health of a nation, are they? they they're they're not concerned about the health of a nation. When when Aries tells you exactly what the drill is, it just makes your mouth drop open, doesn't it? Crazy how how bent how bent it is. It's just nuts. These I feel sorry for like the likes of your Kassar and them organisations. It's an uphill battle. That. Yeah. Plus that, and it. it's just ridiculous. It's like it's like I was watching a film the other day. Um, it was uh, Kingsman, the yeah. new Kingsman film, and this this woman was sending over uh, drugs that are contaminated with a poison, and everybody who was taking it was filling up with this purple stuff and like near enough dying. Yeah, and they said, oh, "I'll re- release the uh, remedy for it if you send me a, a million dollars or whatever it was." And it was the the president of the USA was saying, "Well, I've just won the stuff, won the war on drugs, because now with all these crackheads dying, there's going to be no drug people to buy drugs." So, (laughs) bit draconian that. And I'm just like, that is the mentality of fucking. Americans all over. <coughs> Mentality of not all Americans, or let me rephrase that, of the American government. Hi, Belinda. Hi, hey, Belinda. Um, yes. Sub vibes, Emiko, do you think the, uh, the fact that we, we have the NHS has something to do with it? It could be. It could be because uh, I know we've had a lot of NHS workers came, come into the shop over the last week and they really promote it to their patients to quit smoking so it, it, it's more than likely it is the NHS that's help, helping the vaping industry in a way to be honest all the NHS in this country has got enough worries of its own to take oh, on vaping as an course. individual issue to be honest with you the NHS has got enough issues of its own just just trying to stay afloat my, my wife work, my work my wife worked for him so you, you, you see the ins and outs of it and it's 
But if you, you've got the up. NHS, like some some NHS workers actually using e-cigarettes and yeah. passing on the information, it's doing something, some yeah. good for the yeah. industry, at least in this country. Yeah, well, like you say, Danny, all the time, in this country we've gone under the radar. As far as restrictions and all that, we've dipped right under the radar, I think. Yeah. You've got to count your blessings at our We well are we've, one we've of the most luckiest countries yeah. for the vaping. Yeah, How we much we... uh, pound saving do NHS through cancer? Mate, it's got to be saving them a hell of a lot more. A hell of lot, lot, a hell of lot of money, you know. Especially the, like, especially like the younger generation, like the, from tw like twenty upwards, who are now going on to vaping because say they've been smoking since I was thirteen, and they've been smoking say a twenty-three year old. So th they've been smoking like ten years. Then they get on to vaping. That's restricting. That that's like reducing the risk of them getting the cancer yeah from, from yeah. a smoking related you know yeah. so from, from our point of view as vapors it's hard to see a negative side to yeah. it, isn't it but but it's, yeah, it's we, we are very very stuff. biased because we we're yeah. in, in in it mr vapor vapor me. Me. And daniel how are you doing daniel mr. fry Mr. Fry normally sends me a Snapchat every week. I haven't had one for about two weeks. What's yeah. going on? Well, so I'll get one now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get one now. So has anyone out in chat seen any, anything new that's caught their eye, device-wise? Because I certainly haven't. The one thing that has caught my eye is that thing what Vic put up uh, yesterday, or yesterday and in his uh, What's Up, that... Uh, Top one is it, boys? Sigeli looks like one of them rev mods. Has it got a big dial on the front of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, looks quite it. interesting. Seen and you got of it. and you got that other one from. Uh... It never returned to them, mate. I'm I'm really sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise that you wanted uh, me to return. I will start if you want. I do apologise. <laughs> I want to know how to. Snapchat, I've never heard of it. It's a <laughs> photo, video sort of platform. Where it's like, like Instagram? It's very similar to Instagram, but it's, you only can see it for a few seconds. Is it? Is it the one where they do like put bears ears on their heads and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, where they yeah, put like that. things like filters on the... Yeah, like, the yeah I've seen it, I've seen it. I've seen it. Some of them are funny. They do like squeaky voices and stuff like that, don't yeah. they? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, some of them are funny. It's a I've very seen. good social platform, especially for vloggers, because vloggers use it quite a lot to show yeah. what's coming out on their next video or something. I, I really need I need to up my social media game. Right. That was one of my plans for this year, and it's gone out the fucking window because yeah. of like, moving on to the new job, but I've got to get back on it very, very soon. COPD, yeah. It's all your lungs and everything, and it's all yeah, for it's everything. It it's absolutely everything. Yeah, I really need to up my social media gaming. I, 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 I used to do quite a lot of lives on Facebook. I just hadn't had the time. I've so... got I've got a Facebook thing there, like the app on my phone, but I never, ever go near it. Never, <laughs> ever go near it. Never, ever go near it. For me, to be honest with you, it's a lot of people putting pictures of the dinner up that's that's what I get out of it, and like people having drama and arguments and stuff. That's that's what I get out of it. To be honest. I hate it's probably when not people a... air the dirty laundry in public. Oh, it's embarrassing. You read some things on there, and it's just embarrassing, embarrassing. Or oh, like, my wife used to use it, and she used to show me what was going on on it, and I used to think, oh my, that is just it. You're embarrassed for people. I don't post a lot on there at the minute on my own page i'll post up my reviews and maybe a, a, a couple of photos here and there maybe a silly video of me doing a hair bottle hair, hairspray can flip and it lands on its bottom yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I did the other day and looked quite cool. It always looks impressive <laughs> when it works. It always looks impressive. Mate, I, I did it twice, and the, the first time I didn't record it, the second time I recorded it, and I did it, I was, I was well impressed with myself. Yes, <laughs> did, you, did you do a fish punch, Danny? Fish punch. <laughs> No, my daughter, my, my daughter was in the uh, shot as well, and she, she got more excited than I did. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever did anything as cool as that, I'd run around with my sock over me, I'd be made up. <laughs> you mean, I'd just uh, flip up, land on my foot, do me some damage. <laughs> <sighs> what do you think, Danny? What do you think is... The popular conception of vapors and vaping in the general public. What do you think people think of us? Do you think do they think we're all bearded young fellas? It's just something Kerrika just said that made me think. Do you think they think it's all bearded young men? No, I think it's more of when the when they see vapors, it's oh, what are you putting in your bodies type of thing, especially to the people that don't know what it is. And it's more of, oh, they're just showing off type of deal. That's what I, what I get from it. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant conversation starter, me. I think it's a lot of the amount of people who will come over and say to you, what's that? You know, they're, they're, yeah. I've got a ciggy in your hand, and they'll say, what's that? It's mad, Al, mate, because like, we, we're quite a small group of people. You think everyone knows what it is. Yeah. You, I think everyone thinks, if you're walking around with a vape in your hand, you think everyone knows what you're doing and what it's for and what it is. But the surprising thing is how many people haven't got a clue what vaping is. No. Haven't got a clue. Even though it's been around a good, what, eight to nine, no, nine to ten years now? Yeah. Yeah, and it's blown up, hasn't it, recently? It's blo- the amount of people you see now walking around with vapes in their hand. Mate, but I, ju- I, I, I was sitting in the shop today, and the amount of people I see walking past with a vape in their hand, and nine, eight to ten people, it's a Pockex. Yeah. And you see a Pockex in their hand yeah. because it's a nice little starter kit. Yeah, brilliant little devices, huh? And you just see them, you're just like... I've never noticed, because obviously working in kitchens like for 17 years, you'd, you'd never notice how many people actually did the same thing you did. Yeah. Yeah. And it was uh, it's eye-opening. Yeah. You know, it always surprises me when someone comes over and says to me, like, what's that you've got in Nearly 12 think... years now. Fuck. It's been yeah, it always surprises me when they ask you, what's that? And they haven't got, like, not what kind of it it is, but what it actually Especially is. Especially when it's always in the papers. Yes, it might be bad publicity, bad publicity from these wankers in, like, The Sun and Daily, Daily Mirror and stuff. And it's it's on TV quite a lot these days. It's like there was one TV show, and I think it's Two Doors Down, it's called. And there was a woman with a Core 54 with a K2 tank on top, vaping yeah. away in it. So it's, it's gaining to the mainstream TV now. Yeah. And I'll apparently what, there's somebody <clears throat> in Corrie vaping as well, which I don't know because I don't watch fucking Corrie. It's clever the about... way it's clever the way they go about the negative press for it as well for me. Because I've had someone come over to me, not have a clue what it is, but say to me, you'll blow yourself up with that. You'll blow yourself up with that. And not have a clue what it is. So all the, they look at it, and that's what some people instantly tie it to blowing yourself up. So it must be it's clever, clever publicity, isn't it? And the negative publicity. It's clever the way they do it. Uh, UK Andy, it's going very well. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, Danny, it's normally the tossers in the Daily Mail that seem to have pleasure in, dam- uh, in damning vaping. Exactly yeah, right. Because exactly they've right. probably got shares... In big tobacco? Yeah. More than likely. Yeah, don't, yeah, David, it's not unusual. It's not an unusual thing, mate. It's not an unusual thing. That, that, that people tie vape into such a negative image of it. Yeah. It's not. It's just clever publicity. Clever negative publicity, that's what it is. Yeah, you, you had, like, last week you had the uh, Lad Bible... Um, pulling out like oh it's more can- cancerous than smoking and blah de, blah de, blah then like they went back and actually like retracted their statement 
and saying that oh we got it wrong yeah yeah that's it yeah and there's no um, there's no comeback off that they're allowed to get it wrong it's not good Danny it's not good for me anyway for me it's not good it's not good Conway put a good put a good point in. Uh, Vapor me put a good point in. What do you think about shops charging over the RRP for juices? Don't get much of that round here, to be honest. The, the juice no, prices here are quite reasonable. We we uh, have a reasonably good prices of juice. I've got I've got to admit that, and we actually put our nick shots in with the price as well, which most shops don't. At all, um, the ones who, uh, yes, we know shops like like me working in shop now. It's opened my eyes a bit more. We have a lot of overheads to cover. We got wages to cover on 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 an online shop. You don't have that. Obviously, you only mainly have uh, what do you call it? Over well, your, your overheads of the site. That you got to cover, which is probably covered off your first juice of the day. is covered, and obviously staff who's running the site as well. So it's not a massive overhead. Where in a shop you have like, say in our shop we have four members of staff. Then you have like the electricity, the water bill, and stuff like that, and to keep it afloat. But you don't. <sighs> The people who overcharge stuff for juice are just out for the money, and as soon as they've got the made made the money, they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Payment for Danny's appearance fee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan's. You okay, brother? Nice to see you. Orion's. Vaping, vaping doggy, doggy style. style. Mm. I, I don't want to know what that means. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Sm, uh, blowing vapor out your ass, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was just pure guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what a bit about. <laughs> I have wondered because I vape that much, I don't fart out vapor. You might do. You might do and just not realise. <laughs> A massive cloud comes out your backside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally agree with that, Summerfield. <laughs> Keep on, you <your> that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, apparently it's a mouth to lung tank. I've never heard of it, to be quite never honest. Never myself, to be honest. I've never heard that myself. No. Nope. 3F8. They, they sell them at 3F8. I don't even want to click on it, because I don't want to know what it looks like. No. <laughs> I've learned in my short time on the VUKM, don't don't Google anything, because nope. it could, anything could come up and put you right off your seat. Especially anything blue, could come spe- up. Especially Blue Waffle. Do not oh, ever, word, that, ever that Google that. Goals, Lord help please. us. Lord help us. <clears throat> and piss flaps. Mm. Cheaper than black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> it is a tank. I never put bad links. Is that Kerry here? Yeah. I never put... Is that true? No, she, she, she never puts bad links, to be fair. Yes, it's yeah. Sinner. He's the one. Everything in the world that causes an imbalance, put just stick Sinner's name next to it. Everything in the world. This page is not available. Everything. It's all Sinner's fault. Everything. All of it. Just everything. The doggy style. Be careful how you type that in. Make sure you put RTA after it or something. Is it an RTA? Is it a, a stock call tank? Yeah, we need to know. We really need to know. Uh. The doggy style. Mm. Got some odd names, haven't they? For the they, they, they pick some odd names, don't they? 
No, I've, I've had to. I've had to do it. Do you vape on 50-50, 40-60, 80-20? What do you vape on, Danny? Um, 80-20 is max VG, isn't it? Is that max VG eighty twenty? You, you, you can go higher than that. You can have like uh, not. You can have a full VG um, without any PG in there at all. It all depends on your uh, flavorings if they're PG based, PG based or uh, VG based. Yeah. Do you know what I found? Like years ago, when the tanks weren't as good as they are now, they wouldn't wick a thick VG, would they? When they're wicking. Like the wicking on tanks now is amazing, isn't it? The way the way the modern tanks Definitely. wick these days. I'll so it's what, not as vital, is it? It's a bad the little looking tank, actually. It is actually a tank. Is it? Yes. I, I, is, I, is it an RTA, found... Danny? Just so I know. It's an RTA. It's a single coil RTA. So I can Google that and not have to delete my history. That's no. all good. <laughs> That's all good. But it's a weird name. A weird, weird name. Yeah, they have got some strange names, Danny. There's no two ways about it. Yeah. yeah. The, the, that um, that Asphate mod that they brought out called the Michael, it yeah. couldn't have a worse name for it, that mod. It looks as unlike a Michael as anything that's ever been built. But the only reason it's called a Michael is because of the artwork on it, I believe, which is um, an artist named Michael has done them art pieces. Is it? I, I believe so. Yeah, you're probably Nothing. right. You probably there must be a reason for calling it the Michael because he didn't look at the modern think I shall name you Michael. It's like oh, well. the um, mechanical like jobby that they did, the one that uh, was stabilised wood with like uh, the devil's eye on it, the Lucifer. The Lucifer, yeah, I've had that one as well. I've had that one through my hands. I'm uh, just like it's a strange, like it's a strange one that that Lucifer. It's a strange mod that. An odd mod. Evening, Gailey Bobs. It's a French design, say no more. Yeah, the dirty bastards over there. It's a nice looking yeah. mod, right? Like, Going back on. to Conway's uh, question, I mainly go for the higher VG, so like 80 20. Mainly. Yeah. Most juices come out in that kind of ratio, though, don't they? 70 30, 80 20. Uh, so, um, a lot of the Michaels are stab wood and don't have any artwork. Ah. It's a nice mod, like it is a nice mod. It's just got an odd name, but it's a nice mod. Uh, Apart from the battery door, other than that, it's brilliant. The Smock Priv One kit. Is that like the Me one? Is that the little square one? The yeah. Priv One? Is it? Or the Pocket Box? Have you had a go on that Me one, Danny? I haven't. No. No. Um. I've I've seen both of them. I'll, I'll probably go with more the pocket box kit than I would the smock one, because I just know what smock calls are like. Inikin stuff's built like tanks as well, and everything Inikin put out well, tends to. We uh, we use a tank called the Cryos. Yeah. By. Uh... Good evening, buddy. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Now, we use a tank called the Cryos for all our oh, testers. Hey, Steve. You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Good, good. How's so, the diet going, mate? It's really good. Uh, so, so. Yeah. Bit of, a, bit of a rough week this week with it, but still getting there. Stick with it, brother. Stick with it. How's things, Dan? All right? You all right? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Good, good. Not too bad. Good. What have you been up to, see, mate? Uh, not much. I was just just getting the house. I've been up at Tesco. The wind was in doing some shopping and stuff like that. That's why it took me so long to come come down and come on. And while I was sitting in the car, I got a message um, from a friend, um, a friend of ours within um, our Subaru club up here, uh, Big Grant. Uh, Friend of mine passed, mine and Gail passed away this morning. Oh, not good. Sorry, Sorry mate. That, mate. Sorry, mate. Awful. Awful. You'll be missed. Yeah. Of course he will. Not good. Sorry to hear that, mate. How are you all? 
Hello, everyone. Should we even bother what you ask? What what you vaping on, mate? Yeah, you can ask if you want. Also, I'll just tell everybody what you va- what you vaping on. I won't guess the juice. Or, or, or I won't get it right. You can ask if you want. I reckon you're on the G class with the Ken- with, with the Ken's eye and with some juice. Nah, you're completely fucking wrong, mate. Are oh, you on the fucking oh, mech? Oh, oh. No, fuck, I'm on my G class. <laughs> <laughs> With the Ken's eye. <laughs> yeah. With some... You just grabbed that out your drawer, didn't you, just to fuck with my head? No, oh, I'd, I'd reached under my monitor to get it. All my mods sat in the back of my monitor. Oh, on your shelves. <laughs> I, was looking for, I was looking for something already fucking built with a tank on it, so I could... <laughs> uh, juice I've got on this is Charlie's Chalk Dust Uncle... Meringue. Mm. What, I've seen them. What, what, I've seen them in our shop. What's the flavour profile on that one, Sam? It's uh, fucking rainbow, rainbow sherbet meringue pie. Sweet. Uh, kind of. The only one I really enjoyed out of them was, is it the gummy worms? Wor- something worms, isn't it? And it was like gu- it was like the gummy worms. I've tried something like that that was supposed to be gummy worms. It was complete shit. <laughs> so the only one I actually quite enjoyed out of, out of chalk dust. Well, everyone knows, y'all know that I I buy uh, flavor boss type juice. Yeah. Where you get it, and you fill the you get five hundred ml bottle and stuff like that. You all know that I, that's that's where I get my juice. Sunday, um, I ran out what? of the pan, of the pancake man. Yeah. So I had to take emergency action and go and buy some juice because there wasn't enough time to order it. So I I was forced to go into vaporized. And I spent forty nine pound on two bottles of juice. Forty nine pound on two, twenty so twenty five quid a bottle was it? <laughs> Just what, about. What what size bottles? I bought a hundred mil of uh, Sheba Ghost Train Haze. Yeah. A hundred mil. Thirty quid. <sighs> what the. Fuck. Really get, uh, look, please tell me you got Nick shots for it. No. That's that's that, that's crazy. the Nick shots were three bottles and there were two quid each. Oh dear, that's. Crazy. And fifty mil was seventeen, eighteen pound. No, wait, can't have been. 20 quid, because that bottle was 30, which means 50 mil was 20 quid. Plus three next shot bottles, 6 quid, 56 quid. For two bottles of juice? Mm-hmm. See, we we do a 150 uh, mil of wit liquor with three, with three bottles of nicotine in it for, with it for 24.99. And I thought that was a fucking good deal. So that'll be the fucking last time that I go there and buy juice. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. That's a fucking fifty quid for two bottles of juice. That is is that is that is that is that shop got got the market boxed up there? Is it like the only shop in the vicinity? Like no, there's other there's other vape shops in the centre, but it's a it was a Sunday, so they were all shut. Apart from Vaporize, who we know are open seven days a week. Uh, was Rick shut then yesterday? Rick's is shut on a Sunday. As far as I'm aware, he's shut on a Sunday. Got him. Got it. Crazy to all that. 50 odd quid. Fucking rip off. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's that's not good. It's a poor show. Uh, <laughs> uh, AVC, thanks very much. Yeah, that 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 was hard enough. I'm not I'm not even gonna try doing that again. 
Can I ask Conway if he's still in the chat what he reckons the markup would be on in that shop on that juice? Well, Dan, Daniel said the wholesale cost of of it was eighteen pounds, not including the nick. Uh, for for the lot. So for the everything. Mo- I don't know if that's a lot. If that's just one bottle. If, if it's eighteen, I would say eighteen pound for the hundred mil for wholesale. So, I reckon that would be what thirty-six quid then for the two, I suppose. Is it? I don't know. No, <laughs> for the hundred mil, it's that's like nearly two hundred. Hi, wife. Have you met my new wife? Rip City's my new wife. <laughs> okay, that's like a hundred pound markup. No, a hundred percent markup. <laughs> On one juice? Yeah, no, yeah, £18 for the both of them. £11 for the 100 mil and £7 for the 60 mil. So he's saying £18 for both So the you're looking like nearly 200% markup on that you juice I mean? alone? That, that's a ridiculous of juice. Not only from that shop, from other places as well. Chaos. Absolute fucking rip-off. No way, that's awful. That's poor, that's a poor show, that. Deary me. Zan, get a big, big order in to the other, the other gap where you go. Well, if I can find, if there's other places out there like Flavor Boss that sell bottles <laughs> like this and I just make them up myself, I'd, I'd be willing to try them out. How the much are they, Zan? I know to is... The, the 500 mil bottle, you, you get the concentrate in the, bo- the bottom, and then you know you fill the fucking rest up. But to get this size bottle is like £14. Oh my god! And are they all right? Like, are they, I've never tried them. Are they, are they decent? I've had, I've had about five or six flavors off of them so far because I change it every month of what I'm getting. Yeah. Um, and so far there's maybe one or two of them that I've not quite liked, like the key lime cookie one that I got back in June, which Gail just threw out yesterday, and I had that much out of it. It was. The sweetest fucking juice I have ever tasted. Yeah, yeah. That's that's crazy. That crazy money. That the lemon tart's good. Gail likes the lemon tart from. The, the, I, I tried some of the lemon tart when I was up there. That's it's actually quite a nice juice. Pancake man's not too bad. Um, What's the other one, one I tried? There. Was it the key lime cookie? Vapor me's just asking you there, Sam. What fifty mil bottle? What was the 50 mil bottle? I think he's asking you what juice that it was. That was the Charlie's uh, Chalk does one. Ch- Charlie's Chalk one. The meringue one? Yeah. Yeah, it's the meringue one. Rainbow Sherbet Meringue Pie. Can't believe that. Which I'm absolutely fucking hammering. Yeah, but you might... Not, that's not near enough as bad as getting a, a 10 pack of smokes. Yeah. I bet you was gobsmacked, weren't you? I bet you was astounded when you was in that shot, weren't you? When you uh, rang it up on the till. No, I would have done. I would have gone, nope, Not I'll go without. <laughs> I, I couldn't have paid 50 quid for that. Well, that was a, a state of an emergency. 25 was, uh, quid for a 50 mil in that brand? Really? Why? Must be good gear, that. Must be good gear. I know it's American. That must be good gear, that. Dolores has got the right idea. Knocking up half a litre at a time. Yeah, it has to be, it has to be some like uh, the Flavour Boss things where I just put the VG in the neck in myself. <coughs> I, can't, I, I just cannot be doing with fucking about with umpteen different concentrates trying to mix more and just... Yeah, yeah. I just don't have the fucking patience or the the will to do that. I tried it for a while, you know, so I'm doing a bit of DIY, and what I, I found was I, I, I binned more than a vape. I fucking, I chucked it fucking, and I give all my concentrates to that. Yeah. I can be a bit more than a vape, me. I make a gallon at a time. I think that's not a bad idea, to be honest. That's crazy money, that. 
I'm actually shocked for you, Zan. The yeah. pros. Well, he's lost a customer there, anyway. When you think about it, he's lost a punter now because you're not going to be going back there anytime soon, are you? What did Gal say? You're not the only fucking one. <laughs> <laughs> he's lost a punter there. It's no way to run your business, that. He's, he's lost a punter there, so. Unlucky. That's expensive. That's it. Just a put. Just a bunch of greedy bastards fucking charging that, that sort of fucking price for chat. Another vape channel's put there. Just to put it in perspective, if I still smoked my old 36 a day at today's prices, I would spend £336 a month. <laughs> really? Did you have to do that, Vic? What? What? Did, what? You, did you have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. So, You're right as soon on time. as you come up on the screen, Victor. <laughs> You're in time. I only spoke to you fucking ten minutes ago. Yeah, well, I, I kind of gave up trying to clean everything and went, fuck it, I'll do it later on. <laughs> How are you, Vicky? You alright? Doing alright. Try, try to get the laptop all set up. Oh, fuck. That's the wrong. What's going on with this fucking camera? Hold on. There we go. There we go. So how, how are we, Victor? I'm doing all right. Vic, what's the reason behind the dearth in vaping news at the moment? Is it is it just the Chinese New Year, do you think? It's the Chinese New Year. Everything it dies. Is. See, New Year over in China is completely different to here. Literally, the country shuts down. Yeah. Everything shuts down in China for, a two, was it two and a half weeks? Yeah, two and a half weeks. Yeah, two and a half weeks. Everything shuts down. So that's why there's no news. Can I ask you a question, Vic? What what's what do you reckon the ratio of manufacturing from China to the rest of the world is? Do you know what I mean? What, what for percentages? E Pardon? For e yeah, e -cig. E -cig. yeah, V six. Yeah, V six. What what the manufacturing percentage is in China? Oh, you're looking how, at China's. The... China's probably wrapped up about seventy five to eighty percent of the market now. You think so? Oh yeah, at least. Yeah, there's at not least. a lot comes from the rest of the world these days, is it really? No, there isn't. Before anyone starts, this is not a big fucking pint glass of red wine. It's a pint glass of Vimto. Thank you very much. <laughs> With vodka in it. I fucking wish. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was listening in, Zan. You get conned at vaporised. Fucking 30 quid for 100 mil. That's shocking. That is fucking how shocking. How bad is that? Robbing bastards. Awful fucking that. Although I can remember a time not too long ago when people were paying twenty to twenty-five pound for thirty mil. Yeah. But still, see for that thirty quid you spent on that hundred mil bottle, I can make about two liters of juice out of that. Just buying the concentrates in. You'd have been cheaper driving to Irvine and getting juice over him. Uh -huh. <laughs> you should have. That's what you. That's what you should have done. I'd have gave you. I'd have gave you half a liter of custard or something. Scandalous, that, and it then prices absolutely. As, as. It's alright. I'll get some peach custard off you tomorrow. Zan, is it gen? Is it generally yes, quiet? That shop? What? Is it generally quiet that shop? Was it quiet when you went in? Um, can't see him queuing out the door for that. Yeah, they seem busy enough, but but uh, but the 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 rent within that centre is uh, extortionate. Um. One of uh, a friend of mine, which uh, Vic met last week, Bob. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bob, Bob works um, just along in another vape shop, but they're 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 shut um, on a Sunday. Well, it's like the same down here, vaporized in Irvine, which is a smaller town compared to where Zan's staying. Vaporized. They're sitting, right, you've got the cross, which is the high street, and then Bridgegate crosses across the high street. The shop that Vaporize managed to get is sitting right on the corner, so they can look up and down high street, straight up into Bridgegate and the, the Rivergate Mall, and straight down into Bank Street. It is one of the best shops in the town, and they got it just like that. Nobody, nobody knows how they managed to get it, but they must have spent a fortune kicking the previous tenants out to take the shop over. Uh, so that's why your juice is so high. 
You're <laughs> paying for that fucking shop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole thing is on a serious note, part of the appeal of vaping is... They must be like, really fucking desperate to pay the fucking rent in that centre, because I've heard fucking stories of them selling to under-18s. Ooh. Ooh. Part of the appeal of vaping is people saving money, innit? Or, 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 or it used to be. It's supposed to be. Saving yeah, money. When you first, <laughs> when you first go into it. But then when you become a hobbyist like us. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not it's not it's not cheap. But I mean, generally you if I was telling someone to give up smoking or advising them, I'd say you can save a fortune. If you buy yourself a little battery in a tank and you're buying juice instead of cigarettes, you're going to save a fortune doing it. The only, the only way you can save money if you're vaping is if you're mouth to lung, and the minute you switch to direct lung yeah. inhaling, you're going to plough through e-liquid. Yeah. It's more so now it. as well, isn't it, with the tanks nowadays? Yeah. You smash yeah. juice in, don't you? Mm. Especially with like the TF v, uh, v series. Well, there's no appeal for someone there, is it? If they go in a shop and it's, and they might as well go and buy 20 cigs at the shop next door. There's yep. no appeal for him there, is he really? I seem to be, I, I seem to be working my, my way back. You know, I started off, it's coming up two years. It'll be two years at Expo in May um, that I started with him. And I started off with uh, an Anakin T, is it TC100? Oh, the old TC100. Good and cat. I, and I fucking, one of the tanks and then I, I sort of moved along about tanks and RDAs, but it took me ages to get into RDAs and and rebuildable tanks and stuff like that and start using them. But I was still using smoke uh, smoke tanks, big baby and stuff like that, stock coil tanks. Yep. I, shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> Until last May, and you know that I completely gave up stock coil tanks back then and started using rebuildable tanks like the Kylin and the fucking Ken's eye and stuff like that and I've been using a lot more drippers but quite recently I feel myself getting fucking very lazy with it again and finding my myself going back fuck off there he is find myself maybe going back to fucking where I started with stock coil tanks right why is that why is that you just can't be bothered building I, th I think well I I came out of the whole shiny 80s thing just after just after Expo, just between Expo and Christmas, not October time. Yeah. And it's just uh, for vaping and stuff like that, just to, to stop smoking. And I, I feel that like I'm going I'm going fucking back the way instead of going fucking forward. And it's just it's just very fucking confusing. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of choice out there, isn't there? There's a lot of choice out there. There's, there's too there, much it? choice if there's you ask. Too me. much yeah, choice. Yeah, exactly. yeah, there's there's that many stuff coming out and fucking mods that get released. You fucking well, think, and you've got to have a twenty odd fucking new things. Yeah, it's, it's fucking greed. Yeah. This will give you an idea, right? This is the review queue, and all of this stuff in this top shelf came in just over the past four weeks. Look at all that. Oh my word. That's just over four weeks. I bet you're made up with this Chinese New Year, aren't you, Vic? It'll give you a chance to. It gives me a fucking. Decks. It gives me a fucking break. That way, I can plow through the stuff that yeah. I need to review because the they're, a bit. they're not. They're not going to release anything now for at least two and a half weeks. Well, that must be nice. That you know what I mean. It must be nice to. You, you get about that. three weeks of the year, don't you, Vic? Yep. Because you get, is it one in August as well? Well, I take I take the weekend off for Expo and probably a couple of days after that. Um, oh, I'm there's another big holiday for China as well, where they shut down. Well, you've got the Spring Festival, which is on right now, and there's another one. There's another is it August one. August or October? I think it's October. The other one, but that's only for a week. Yeah, that's what I mean. You get like three weeks where you can have to try and catch up. You must get swamped, Vic. You must get absolutely swamped and just think, where where do I start here? Well, I got three items in today, and Monday's normally a quiet day, and fucking the DHL guy was giving it here. Fucking take it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the new I got the new Vupu Mojo Mojo. Oh, Vupu yeah. hasn't lost their Mojo. Some fucking butt ugly thing from Sigeli. 
fuck knows what the hell they were thinking when they made that thing. thing squonking it. Yeah, two squonk bottles. Yeah, tiny ones. Does that one yeah. go into one RDA? Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't you have wouldn't you have two batteries and and and, and I, I'd rather have two batteries. Uh, it's two batteries. Yeah, but oh, is it? Oh, right, I thought it was a single. It's a dual eating. No, it's a dual eating six fifty. It's the fucking bottles, huge. The bottles are tiny on it, aren't they? They are tiny bottles, five mile each. Are they? There we go. Uh, Vibe me just uh, said it's end of September for four days. There we go, September. I think the whole going back the way they stock the oil tank is just the, the, just for the fucking ease of it. Yeah. Yeah, you just fill the yeah. tank and when the coil's burnt out, chuck the coil, shove a new one in. Yeah. Time as well, son. It takes like time to look, sit there and build them. I like the look of that Valerian. Oh, the U well Valerian. Yeah, uh, I think it's a good it, tank. I think it's a U well one. I yeah, watched, it's U well. I watched Daniel uh, Vape City's review on it, and it's he's got me in it. He got me got that in my head. About giving it a try. It's a good time, I believe him. I just, I think it's just for the ease, because I'm getting really fucking lazy again with it. Takes a lot of time, doesn't it? You have to have time to sit there building them and messing. You don't, you don't always have the time, do you? Yeah. I just, I just want something I can use without having to fucking piss about with. It. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I tell you, Vic's been in here like five minutes for me out asking. What? What are you vaping on? The same fucking shit I was vaping on last week, Danny. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, elitist and elitist and more elitist. No, then. I no, I I don't I don't have the gold G class. This is the normal G class, which is non elitist. <laughs> and it's a <laughs> Yes, yeah, the old the one, Kevlar. No, the ones that they don't do anymore. So they're yeah, more rare. The so that me, makes you more elitist. Shut up, Danny. Shut up, Danny. <laughs> shut up. Danny, shut up. <laughs> Just because I'm right. G Class with the Geek Vape Blitzen sitting on top. I'm not, um, honestly, I, d this didn't mean to happen, but it just so happens I'm vaping in another. Yay! Mod the Q Mini with the Asmodus Zithia. Elitist. Hmm. Fucking right there. <laughs> there. Oh fuck! I don't fucking believe this. I, I'm just a dreamer with a fucking thing sitting on top. Fuck off, Danny. <laughs> where's the, where's the stinky box? Oh, it's up there. I'm cleaning the bottle out. Well, You're not, not the, the bottle, MX the tank. I really, I really like that squonker. Oh, the MX is up there. I only, I only use the MX when I'm doing mouth to lung tobacco in the afternoons when it's evening, fucking cloud chuck time. I can't, I can't do mouth to lung. No, I, I love mouth to lung. I fucking I love mouth to lung. I've been mouth to, to lung in quite a lot. 16 milligram Yelik Turkish tobacco and the Digi flavour siren too. Can't fucking beat it. It's lovely. I, I can't do it. No, me neither. Summerfield, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if you want, Gail, I can bring oh, it out from the cupboard behind you. I've just sent me a message saying you just double checked the RRP on them e liquids and the uh, 19.95 for RRP. Fucking raw. It's vaporized though. Vaporized are one of not one. Well, totally wicked's generally more expensive, but vaporized is one of oh, the Salford, most expensive. Oh, no. Salford, no. Win. No. no, 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 Salford. Salford, no. shut up, Salford. Oh, shit. Although, when I get a dog, that's when you need to start worrying. Can't get a dog, though, because I'm actually allergic to... Well, no, I'm kind of allergic to dog hairs, but not as much as I used to be. You've got a shed, though. Yeah, but it's full of gardening stuff, and it's freezing fucking cold in that shed. That's why I'm never down there. <laughs> and that means I need to walk out the door to outside worldly space? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> he only does that when he's on to the way to the pub or the post office. Usually the post office. I've got a shitload of stuff I need to post out this week. Oh, no, it's piling I'm still up. waiting for my hat. Yeah, I know. Your hat's down there. Got a shitload of stuff I need to post out. Well, I fucking managed to post my fucking mother G class last week. That was yeah. me just getting round to it. I just posted it last week. 
Oh, the one that you're getting repaired? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's the good thing about you. They've got a good warranty on their mods. It's only taking me fucking two months. <laughs> so you have two what the... That means you have to get another tank to go on your, on your, on your other G-Class when it comes back. To be fair, for what you pay no, for them, you only wait one thing at a time. For what you pay for them G classes, you should have a good warranty, shouldn't they? Let's be honest. They're not, they're not cheap, are they? I you can know. do that, Danny, because I've got two G classes here and I've got two Dreamers as well. Ooh, cheese baguette. <laughs> 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 See, so that Zan. From? <laughs> except Zan's got a gold one. No, Everybody, class. every other fucker got a gold G class apart from me. What the fuck? But like I said, you got a Kevlar one, which is more elitist. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. They're not available anymore, Vic. There was hundreds of thousands of the Kevlar G class series yeah, released out. Everyone's not, got one. But they're not a, a, available anymore, Vic. So that's, that's not the point. That's not the point, Danny. That's not the point. That's not the point, Danny. <laughs> he's just winding me up. That's all he's doing. <laughs> Kenny Bassett, Vic is desert ship anything like Turkish tobacco. Desert ship is more heavier on the Virginia and it's more drier than Turkish. Turkish is a rather sweet tobacco, but it's very similar. Very similar. Vic, have you tried your avatar yet? Oh, the mesh tank! I was not impressed, although it's just began testing. I don't like the flavour that's coming from the coil. It's got a nasty fucking taste to it. I, n I don't get nasty taste off my coil. It's a nasty fucking taste to it. I'm, I'm waiting in the car. It's only the first couple of tanks I've ran through. Coils like that, it usually takes about two or, th two or three tanks but to settle in. So we'll first see tank, how it goes. absolutely fine. I just don't care. I want it for the fucking tin because it's a fucking cracking tin it comes in. <laughs> these things are yeah, just no, it's... absolutely amazing. I'm gonna send this to Jay, <laughs> so he can put a so he can put a board in it, put a fire button in it, and turn it into a mod. <laughs> like, how, how nice would that be as a mod? Get some LEDs around it as well. Oh fuck off. <laughs> 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 but I, wa I wasn't impressed with it. That, that I'd, I'm not used to because it's... I've got mines up there. I'm, I'm just letting it soak in right now. I'm, I'm on rebuildables right now. I've, I've, I've put 110 mil through the one coal head. Absolutely fine. <laughs> But I did See, really soak up the the cotton before beforehand. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bunny's an elitist as well because she's got a fucking gold one. I don't have a fucking gold one. But you're all elitist. Oh, it will start to me. A fucking gold one. <laughs> Are we going to be hearing about this for the next it, fucking it, six months? But you got two gold smock ones. <laughs> it's smock, Danny. Shut up, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're, you're all elitist compared to me, anyway. Why? Because I don't fucking own a G class at all. Yeah, but you work in a vape shop, so you're in the industry. So you're an industry insider, which means automatically you're an elitist. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just a, a shop worker, mate. You'll be management by the end of the year. You've got to say that with enthusiasm, Danny. You've got to work, okay. up, work up the ladder. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be more made up when I get my dreamer than I was when I got my G-Class, to be honest. Where did you order it from? I haven't ordered it, mate. I went on that DDW and every colour was sold out when I went on. Every one of them? Yeah, every colour, yeah, sold out, Fucking mate. Fucking hell, I that was that quick. Night, you told me. I went oh, on that night, you told me. Because I thought it was one of them things, Vic, where they were doing like a pre-sale popularity test. Do you know what I mean? No, they're didn't actually selling it. Didn't have any in stock. Yeah, Zan didn't like the Dreamer. He wasn't impressed no, with it. I wasn't impressed with it. No. no. I can't wait to get my hands on one, mate. Daniel, shh, shut the fuck up. I, I, I wouldn't mind the, uh, the black Dreamer. 
I like that um, stainless steel one. It looks it looks stunning. Well, you don't know until you get it in your hand, do you? But I'm, I'm going to get one anyway and check it out. I'll stick with brass and copper. Yeah, brass, yeah. That's what she's They're nice. They look nice to me. I'll get my hands on one when they come over there. Did you have, did you have like, too much coffee before you hit broadcast today, Danny? Nope. <laughs> did you? Did you? Nope. <laughs> I'm just more happier now. <laughs> I had to do a job that I had to really enjoy. True, true. There's a question for you, Vic. Vapor me. Looking to replace smart tanks? Any ideas? Anything. What would you advise? <laughs> Anything but smart. I don't know so much. The TFV12 Prince. I'm actually liking that tank, and that's shocking for a smart tank. But I'm actually thoroughly enjoying the TFV12 Prince. But everything else, get fucking Have shot. You seen them. They're the all fucking shit. Coils, Vic. Yeah. What? Most places are selling them for ten pound per coil. No. No. What? For what? We won't get them in because the the wholesale price is too goddamn expensive. That's because it's their new tank. Good tank, a good stock coil tank to replace the smock TFV12. Inakin Scion, even though I think Inakin's a bunch of spineless bastards, but that's not the point. Uh, Inakin Nah, but that's the thing. I, I would go for the UL Valerian rather than the Crown 3 because the problem that UL has is they're a much more smaller company compared to Smock. And look what happened to the Smock 1. The Smock 1 went out, the Smock 2 came out. The, no, the, not the smock. The, the Crown 1 came out. The Crown 2 came out. When the Crown 3 was being released, they discontinued the coils for the Crown 1. So everyone that bought the Crown 1 is now fucked. No, I that. So, yeah, hey, that is. The tank was shit anyway. I thought the Crown was good. No, I, I, lo I loved my I Crown. I a recommendation and it was a pile of shit. Thanks, Zan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I loved my uh, original Crown tank. The Crown 2 I didn't like. No, Didn't fancy the Crown 2. I had to go with Crown 2, the flavour was shit off it. The original Crown Tank was something else at the time it came out, wasn't it? It was like, it was next level, wasn't it, the Crown Tank? At, at the time, there was nothing else out there that yeah, could it touch brilliant. it. Yeah, brilliant. Nothing I, I remember there. getting my hands on one about a week after it came out, and I thought, what is this? It's like next level, wasn't it? It was a brilliant tank at the time. But, I mean, stock coilers, I'm not really as... as heavy into stock coilers these days. I'm a bit I'm a bit like the way Zan was. I prefer to build it. I prefer to vape and rebuildables. Yeah. Because yeah, I've like got a fucking it. box of coils sitting over there from Aries JJ so I like building me. I like build not not because I have to, I like building. I can't start I can't I, start building. I have a I have days where I'm like, oh I'm gonna rebuild all my drippers then the the next day I'm just like I can't be arsed. That's another good tank, Gailey. The little Vapor SONRG tanks. They're cracking little tanks, those ones. Have you tried the, the tank Krios the tanks, Vic, by Anakin? The little ceramic coils. The, the Vapor SO target tank. Yeah, the old targets. Yeah, yep. that was a decent little tank at the time when that came out. Vapor SO have put some good stuff out in the time, haven't they? Really? <sighs> they usually do put out good stuff. Yeah. And as for the as for the Krios, meh. No. We, we use them meh. for testers. <laughs> That's just another tank. Yeah. Nothing really stands out. I still prefer the Scion over the Krios. Yeah. yeah. Inikin stuff's made to last, isn't it? Even, even though it is what it is like, but the, the, the stuff's built like tanks, in it? The mods and that. Okay. Yeah, well, can, can we stop and, talking about Inikin? I can see Vic getting redder and redder and redder. Yeah. <laughs> they, were all right until they, they, were all, they were all right until they teamed up with Phil Orange Face Bizardo, but yeah. that's not the point. What I meant was... <laughs> I don't like your review. I'm going to fucking spam my comments, you. But oh, fuck you, prick. <laughs> what I meant was this shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> true, though. There's there's not a lot of companies like Inakin that actually don't. Inakin generally don't rush something out. They generally don't. They cater for new starters as well a lot more than others. They do. They, 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 they cater. Well, that's where the market is. I mean, if you go and look at one of the one of the videos that Phil and Dimitri made at the end of 2016, going into 2017, they were at they were at Inikin in one of the factories that were making the coils, and Inikin are churning out 100,000 Endura-style coils every week. 
That's where the butter is. That's where the fucking bread is buttered. The starter kits. Yeah. All the starter kits. <laughs> yeah. I've got to ask you a question now, Bill. Do you reckon it was like the Viping Greek and the other one who told them that we won't do anything else with you if you send anything else to Vic Mullen? Yes. I think it's all down to Phil. I honestly think it's all down to Phil. Because he's a that's prick. That's wrong. <laughs> V for me, I'm not going to review any more Anakin stuff. Simple as that. But you said that a bit smug. And yeah, but the, the, you, the, no, 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 hold on. The reason I said that about Smock was is because Smock's old PR team didn't talk to me. And then they get a new PR team and they don't know who I am, so they started sending me stuff. You never you never know. Halfway through this year, Anakin might get a new PR team. Doesn't happen in Anakin. They don't have staff turnover there. <laughs> Actually, that's true. Nah, it's not. <laughs> He's not a prick. <laughs> Can't be calling the guy a prick. <laughs> You're a fucking cheeky. You're kidding me on. <laughs> You can't call the guy a prick. Oh, you'd never you, be honest No, with that. no, he's not a prick. He can't be a prick. That's not nice. <laughs> he's more like a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Are you buying this? Are you buying it? Let's see what he did. I was on my best behaviour. Tell them what he did. I didn't do anything. <laughs> no, of course you didn't, son. No, I didn't. Is this the, the same person that you said, I'll oh, see you later, you prick, as you walked yeah. out the door? Yeah. And then he walked back in. And then he walked back in, so he must have heard that. <laughs> Let's not be starting vape drama, I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> My name's not Kelvin Guy. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, can you smell that? I smell bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I smell bullshit. <coughs> so, Vic, let's talk about the UK vape show. Why? It's not on for another two weeks. Yeah, but we've got to get... A, a, well, you don't need that fucking publicity, but, you know, for your small channel. Yeah, it's a very small channel. <laughs> Subscribe now! <laughs> Needing all the help you can. He's only got 31 or 32k. Actually, I'm at 32,273 the last time I checked. Not that I'm counting or anything. Yeah, no, not like <laughs> That must be a right headache keeping on top of that lot, man. That must be it a right headache. Takes me about an hour, an hour every evening just to answer all the comments. Right, it must be non stop. Or what, or look at all the comments. Non stop. Non stop. Answer my, answer my fucking comments. Do you have a PA, Rick? Be a right, I do that. Fucking PA. My name's not Rock Trapper. You to answer all your comments. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least if Gail does it, I might get a fucking reply to one. I, I oh. do reply to some of them. Wait a minute, I don't reply to your comments. I just, I just send you a fucking message. Yeah, you do. <laughs> So your license review, what do you think of it? Fuck off, Danny. <laughs> you're just picking and me, so chat doesn't pick on you. That's what you're doing. Mate, I can see what you're on, doing. All day, so like, I've had people pick on me all day, so it's your turn now. Well, why are they picking on you all day? You're at work. Just tell me, shut up. The people at work picked on me all day as well. Oh, dear. And they're younger than me as well. So you've got a gilly, because I'm younger than you, by a lot. Thanks for reminding me, fucker. Oh yes, it's your birthday tomorrow, isn't it, Victor? You bastard. Yes, it is. What is it, 52? <laughs> Fuck off, will you? <laughs> Fuck 
fucking there! 42. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll put 10 years on. 42, I'm not. <laughs> Plus VLT. Wow, Robbie's... Fuck off, Danny. Robbie's one of the lucky sods that actually managed to get his hands on a coily. Nice. So, the coily goes up on their Facebook page, and it's sold out within about 30 seconds. It's gone. <laughs> Just dump 30 mil of stinky <laughs> e-liquid into it. <laughs> I was reading that. <laughs> <laughs> well, vegetable, vegetable glycerin is a lubricant. At least it came in handy. Remember, guys, if you do have uh, dry skin, please get your electrolytes. <laughs> yeah, Andy, the coily, this thing. I need to have a look at that tomorrow. Handy bit of kit. Show me how it fucking works. I've not even watched the you review. Put your coil in, coil in, and then you chop it. Yeah. Well, how do you know which, which bit to put your coil in? Well, that's what, that's what, see the way this has been made, right? The long one. The long one is where you put the coil in. These short ones here is where you judge it from the actual post. Like the, the actual post on your, the actual post that's on your deck or your dripper. You actually measure it from the small holes. But basically what all I do is I just cut it at 5 millimeter. 5 right. millimeter seems to be the baseline. Well, you can show me tomorrow. Yeah, good bit of cut, this. Amazing what you can do with 3D printers these days. Need J. How you doing, Nidji? Vibe City Reviews has said, don't put in dry those on. Just yeah. you fucking wait, son. Fuck, <laughs> 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 Gail. Fuck, <laughs> 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 I'm just interested in how it fucking works. You can just shut up. How you doing, Roy? Hi, Roy. How are you, Tony's eating stuff? Hope you're alright, brother. Right. Doing, Tony. Hope you're alright, brother. Not eating okay. cake tonight, Vapor. <laughs> Not eating cake tonight because there's none. I eat it all. It's yeah. gone. Hello. Not, not until that's right, because tomorrow Gail and Zan are visiting. Yeah, there's no cake though, Victor. Yes, there is. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually get the cake this time. <laughs> it depends. It all depends on whether fucking Gail eats it. <laughs> Has anyone? Has anyone tried spook juice? Never even heard of it, Roy. That's the first time I've heard of it. No. Hey, Roy. Lemon tart. Caramel cheesecake. Oh, I've got one of them. Fixed mouse has started watering. Caramel no, cheesecake. Hasn't. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Robbie, there's been a lot of people on my instant messenger and Facebook wanting to get their hands on one of the tests, because I got all three of the coilies up here, the, 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 the original two beta test ones, and then I got the final one. There's been people wanting me to sell it to them on Facebook. The problem is I've gave them all away already. I've only got the original one left. How much is it, Vic? It's about five, six quid. Can't go wrong, can you? Can't go wrong. That's 3D printed. He's doing it himself. Yeah. Pocket change, aren't it? Don't try it, it's vile. That's why I've probably not heard of it then, Roy, if it's a bad juice. No. Well, Zan, it looks like you got a visitor on the way. Eh, what? Bunny's just uh, heard girl say something about Bailey's. <clears throat> wow, it's that bad, Bunny. Five ninety nine plus postage. 
could always use it as some lube. Oh, dear God. Sort your chair out with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Why is Vape City Reviews going to hammer his Aspire Revo? I thought that was a good little tank. It was 80 quid in a shop I went in the other day, that Revo kit. No, no, oh, that, okay. not dry. Lubed. <laughs> Dry's too sore. <laughs> <laughs> Summerfield, that's not a pleasant vision. That. Yeah, I'd, um, I'm, I'd, uh, it's the thing about Bailey's when you start drinking it, you've got to fucking drink the whole bottle. Oh. <laughs> not really a pleasant vision. That's why I stuck with Guinness. Me too. How you doing, Joe? Hi, Joe. How you doing, buddy? I've lewd with sandpaper, Sam. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with you two? I'm getting quite jealous here, Sam. <laughs> Bromance. He don't try. Anything with brandy, Tony's e cig stuff, to be honest. Absolutely anything with brandy for me. I'm, I'm getting quite jealous here, Sam. That's all right. No I, I thought it was me and you. And yeah, now, I'm completely in love. I, I get now, now you're going off with another Daniel. Is that how uh, it is? I'm in love for both of you. I'm not sharing, Sam. It's all right. Expo's going to be fun this year. <laughs> I'm better. Split the roast at Expo. <laughs> as, long, as long as we can do the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> you shall all find me in the pub. <laughs> I'll probably be with you, Gail. That then fucking voices. Well, it's not... Uh, I've, I've, I've seen worse. I've seen worse prices. It's not too bad. Five pound. <sighs> That's cheap. Centre of London, you're probably looking at eight pound. Mm. Some I, Glasgow I, night, I some Glasgow into... night pledge, you're looking at eight pound. <clears throat> when, la- when was the last time you went to a fucking nightclub, Victor? Back when I was hip and swinging, and a lot younger than I am now. <laughs> So, so you looking what at does all the youngsters do? This and shit. Nah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> also, about 15, 20 years ago, Victor. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and if it was eight quid back then, you got done. No, I'm talking now. I'm talking now. But how would you know? You've never been in. No, I know I've never been in, but I've got I've got youngsters. I've got I've got friends, and I've got my nephews and nieces who are like 18, 19 years old, and I see them bitching about the price constantly. Hang on, you got friends? Oh, Even my boy. that was fucking low. It was. It was. That's, that's I fine, Danny. Some... I am I'm, I'm taking notes for Expo, Danny. Yes, I am. You know I love you, Vic. Right. right hang on, hang on. Remember, around this time last year. When you when I, when you first come into a chat, I was like this. <laughs> you were actually, yeah. And now look at me. <laughs> yeah, it's all that bad influence. That's what's doing it. You were yeah. such a you were such a quiet, innocent person. And look at you now. Yeah. It's all come from you, Victor. Watching you. Don't fucking look at me. Learn the fuck off. Of me, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> That's shocking. I'm quiet and innocent. I never cause any problems and drama and shit. <laughs> no, wasn't no, what some what, somebody saying no, that all, no, that's all no, your no. channel is created by is <laughs> drama? Yeah, yeah. There's a few people that say that. All you ever do is drama. There's a hundred and fifty-four. There's a hundred and fifty-four WhatsApps, and five of them. Co- well, it's actually six now. Seven actually. Seven Danny of them, has never seven been of innocent. I was. I've always been innocent. I just got corrupted by you lot. See, see that he's passing the blame to everyone in chat now. You see that? See that? No, oh, no, no. I, 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 let me re-rectify that. You lot in VUKN. At least he's not blaming. <laughs> I said everyone in VUKN. You was in v, VUKN. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. 
Mm-hmm. Vapor me, which jam e liquids? That's the question. But I which ones? If it's just jam. Mm. If it's this lot, you can stick up your ass. Yeah, they're too sweet. If it's just jam, they're good. E liquids just jam. They're rank. Just jam is fucking nice. Fucking didn't corrupt you. <laughs> see, <laughs> see it, da- Daniel knows what I mean. You know, it's these lot, Daniel, I'm telling you. Especially son. <laughs> Oh, I see you've got Kerrick, you've got Kerrick angry. Okay, so let me let me say, you bought me out my shell. So you corrupted me. That's all I'm going to (laughs) say. I did fuck all. (laughs) Gail. (laughs) So I was watching an interesting vlog from one of the big reviewers. Apparently, there's a US e-liquid vendor called, I think it's Adore e-liquids, who's actually paying a visa for this particular European reviewer to actually move to the US, everything's paid for, and he's going to work over there for them. And it's Daniel DGLSB. What? He's fucking over to the US. He's leaving He's leaving Portugal for about six or seven months. Oh. Adore Elak was in the United States, is getting in the visa, everything's all sorted out. He got it and he's going and watch his last vlog, it's all there. Does that mean he's not going to be reviewing anymore? Oh, he's still going to be reviewing, but there's going to be a gap because things have got to shift over and stuff. Yeah. Is he taking his family over as well? Has he got a family? I'm sure he's got a, a missus. I thought he was single. I'm sure he had a kid as well. Did he? I'm sure. I didn't even know. I thought he was single. Is this the right juice, Sam? Yeah, it is. He has a missus and a son. Yeah, I thought, I thought he had. Fuck, I didn't even know. All I know is Adore E Liquids is basically getting everything sorted out for him. Apparently, he's got a missus and a son. We just covered that. Damn. I thought he was single. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 just one, one wife, one son. Can you answer Joe's question, please? Why, well, who's asked, who, what, what? Joe asked a question. Asked a question to who? <coughs> I made a great bubble gum today, it's gone quite cloudy, it's high VG, ah. what do you think it is? I made a great bubblegum today and it's gone quite cloudy, it's a high VG, why do you think this is? Did you shake it or whisk it in any way? Because it might be the air bubbles trapped in the e-liquid. I was going to say some, but I won't bother. Jeez, mind out the gutters, on. Oh, <laughs> Never get it swerving you, mate. <laughs> it's either the air trapped in when you were mixing or it's the concentrate itself. Some concentrates go cloudy. <laughs> You've whisked it. That's why it's went cloudy. Let it settle for 24 hours and let all the little bubbles go up to the top and it should be fine. It's because you whisked it. (laughs) Always have a shake. (laughs) Yeah, just just remember any more than three shakes in at the wank. Right. I need to get my mind out of the gutter. Yep, there's the gutter. <laughs> it's this log VUK and they just corrupt you. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, Zan, I'm telling you. <laughs> Especially I've picked a mulling. Don't when fucking you, look at me. He's a worth for it. No, I'm not. I'm the innocent one here. Look at me. With my round cherubic face and innocent looks. When have you ever been fucking innocent? <laughs> Your channel built up on drama. <laughs> Straight here, <up>, buddy. <laughs> Not quite. 
Not, no, 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 <laughs> not quite true, Kerrika. Be ready to vape in 24 hours after a good whisking. I would leave it for 48 hours, two days, if it's a cream or a custard. Anything else, 24 hours, you'll be fine. Because why is that so the last say? What? Thank you, you've got me right there. <laughs> That's true, actually. Yeah, WN8 vapes. He's the innocent one sitting there, not right, nice and right, quiet. Right. You see him there? Yeah, that was me a year ago. So give him in the year. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Well done. <laughs> There's loads of non-innocent pictures out there, Kerika. Steve, answer your uh, friend request that I sent you earlier on the day. I'm what? Your friend request on Facebook. Right, right, I'll get on it. <laughs> That's his seat, sir. And then we can get down to corrupting you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got a special finger for somebody. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing, just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tongue's gonna come out. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> what the hell, Daddy? What? <laughs> Nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll send you on your phone. You like? Oh, that tongue, right? I thought you meant something else. <laughs> Andy, I will do it, Andy. I will do it. I will. <laughs> right, vapes. This reviews has got a question for Zan. Shoot. Well, Daniel, on you go. Oh God, this is gonna be a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, it's a fucking good mod, Joe. You'll enjoy it. Oh, if for you fuck's sake, Daniel. <laughs> Where from, Joe? Where are you getting that from, if you don't mind me asking? Where did you manage to get one ordered from? Right. What the hell was Kerrika done? <laughs> oh, Jesus, I've, Kerrika! I've, I've had enough of you. <laughs> that's from an that that is from an yeah. old review because it's still got the vaping splash at the bottom. Same shot, mind you. DDW, that seems to be the main place for them. It's the only place for the UK. Yeah. Same as my... No, Daniel, no. Bill, I've already released one. I released the Court Jester a couple of weeks ago, which is a mango something, 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 something cream. That's how good it is, because I can't fucking remember what the hell's in it. All I know is it fucking tastes good. I'm working on I'm working on the last I'm working on the last of the fruit based vapes next week, probably for a March release. And then I'm gonna move on to bakery. Good apple pie or something. Yes. Num, 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 if you do num, a lemon num, meringue pie, send it my way, please. Problem is, I can't find a good lemon flavour, and the lemon flavourings I've got taste like fucking lemon pledge. They're nasty. Just. <laughs> Kerrika! I actually read that in Gwen's voice then. <laughs> oh, you that's told, because I ain't got you told Gail no. That's because what there's too if, many. What, what about what? if Gail turned around and said you no? It's because there's too many nasty lemon flavours out there and I can't afford what to keep buying... What about if Gail turned round to you and I, said no I, I cake? I you, you fucking said no to Gail. <laughs> no one says no to fucking Gail. I didn't say no outright. I kind of skirted round it, then said no. Oh, what sorry, about if she says no to your cake? Then. But she wouldn't say no to cake for me because of my round cherubic innocent face. Well, you said no to her. That's that shot you said no in my way. <laughs> Oh my god. So I'm just kidding. What? I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about what's going to happen to you. I really am. 
<laughs> it was nice knowing you, Victor. <laughs> Need you, I'm going to be ordering um, the flavour at Meringue, that's one to go for, but I'm going to be going for Inawera Shisha Lemon. The raw lemon flavour that Inawera make, because apparently that's a really good one. But the problem with Inawera is it has bloody expensive flavouring. Inawera. Really it's expensive it, stuff. So it sounds like an, a South African fucking <laughs> pop song. Kerry is offended that you're offended. <laughs> <laughs> And people are probably too offended to realise. <laughs> yeah, I watch you what's up, Vic. Yeah, yeah, you watched the what's up, didn't you? Yeah. I creased at that bit. <laughs> That's what, I, mean, I warned everyone at the end of fucking last year that the what's ups are going to become a little bit more raw. And it's it was like, like, like I'm week. offended! It's like last week's what's up when you announced the, the free hosts. Well, the two yeah. of, of, of the two hosts, and he said, "I bet Kelvin's fell over or something like that." <laughs> oh, oh, that was no. right. That's that, that's, that's the good. that's the sound of Kelvin's head exploding. That's what I said. Yeah, that's. I got right. to the end of that uh, yesterday's fucking WhatsApp. I'm only halfway through it. So what have you done <laughs> now? I haven't done anything. That the whole WhatsApp was innocent. <laughs> okay. Now what you can tell when he lies. Now how? Because he goes. <laughs> no, I do it. Yes, you do every <laughs> single fucking time. Fuck <laughs> off. You do Vic, thinking about it. You do actually do that. You know? <laughs> That's why I never play poker. I've got too many tells. Too much sniffing. <laughs> too much sniffing. <laughs> 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 That's what they need to do, need you. I, I so wish flavour brands would sell little 5 mil sampler bottles, but none of them fucking do. I was going to fucking ask you something. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Are you Danny's offended? fault. <laughs> I can't remember what the fuck it was. I was hopefully, you, hopefully you'll remember for tomorrow. Uh, jo Joe said, "Is Vic? I'm offended that you didn't call them the C next Tuesdays." Yeah, I, uh, I don't usually like saying that C word too many times because that does actually offend people, especially Americans. They don't like that word at all. But I'm offended that you didn't say. It. Oh, <laughs> fuck it, off, Danny! Suck it up, son. <laughs> That's a good video, Andy. I remember seeing that, the Steve Hughes one. Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell, Kerrika. You order Capella V1 flavouring in half litre bottles. What the hell? Half litre. That must cost you a bloody fortune. Half litre bottle of flavouring. Oh, matron. What the fuck was I going to ask you? <laughs> It's still annoying them. <laughs> ever oh, since, I've, ever since I turned fucking 40, I can't fucking remember what I'm fucking going to ask. That's why I'm going to stop in my 30s. You know, ever since I talk, I, I'll be talking and I'll, I'll, I'll go to ask something or I'll go to, to say something and it's fucking gone. It's like fucking Alzheimer's. Fuck it, that happened. That started happening to me in my fucking 20s for fuck's sake. That's all the drug abuse, though, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right there, buddy. <laughs> That's going to be a rumour. That's going to be a rumour. Did you hear that Vic used to be on fucking heroin? He's a drug addict. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's only when you was hip and swinging, though, Vic, that. Yeah, <laughs> word and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so down with the kids. <laughs> Next thing I'll start wearing a fucking baseball cap. Never going to happen. No. What, what, what does that look like, Vic? Hi. You've seen what it looks like. You've seen what it looks like. I'm not doing that again. No. Remind oh, you us. Did. Remind you us. Did. did you know? Kerrika print screen me doing the whole thing. Thanks, Kerrika. Thanks. That's, that's another t shirt on the. Uh... 
Oh God! <laughs> Young and hip. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a great T-shirt. I'd buy that one. <laughs> he only does crack now, apparently. Every cloud. <laughs> Depends on what type of crack. Vape UK Network. Have you got a good Nilla Nuts uh, recipe? I got rid of his crack about six months ago. Who are we talking about? You, you Vic. What? <laughs> You got rid of your crack about six months ago. What crack? The big one. What always? What was always hanging off your cloak tails? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Danny. Nice one. <laughs> wow, that was that, that went a bit dark, didn't it? Really. I do apologise. Oh, that it looks so corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, oh, Andy! Oh, which one's this? Is oh, it one of the old ones or one of the new ones? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's the glass one. Jesus. Oh, oh you look so hip there, Victor. Fuck off. Fuck off, Danny. Fuck off. <laughs> Did you ever do one with, uh, like, backwards? I did. I think he just got the screenshot of that one. Where's, where is Ares when you fucking need him? Ares is in the middle of building some fucking odd look. Oh, He's in the yeah. middle of some coil building thing right yeah, now. it's Coil Wars. That's the one, Coil Wars. Apparently he got into the top three of his category, which is fucking mm -hmm. good. Fair play. It's fucking good coils. It is, I'm actually beating in some right now, aren't you? I've got to say that you don't look overly impressed with that hat. I'm not overly don't impressed with any hats. There, mate. I just I just don't suit baseball caps. That's why I collect shirts instead. I like baseball caps. We can't tell, Danny. <laughs> I don't have to wear them all the time now, though. I can't you do my hair. Thick in a wear. hat looks like. Thanks, Gail. Thanks. Thanks, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> On you go, kid. Out into the wide world. <laughs> <laughs> so, has anyone heard anything from Steve since he opened his new shop? Um, I. Because he messaged me last weekend about, yeah. about our shop opening up, and because it was shut on the Sunday, it was shut on Sundays, and he said his shop's going quite well. He couldn't wait to get back in now on the Monday morning. Sweet. You see him on Twitter from time to time. Not a lot, but you see him on Twitter from time to time. Kerika, fuck off. <laughs> you look like a Wookiee. Thanks, Kerika. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Kerika. And Thanks he looks baby faced as well. Thanks. Well, that's because of my cherubic innocent looks, that's why. <laughs> what? I, I, like, I like how you stop yourself from sniffing then. <laughs> I thought I was just about to as well. <laughs> I could see your nose twitching. <laughs> I need to stop fucking doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's oh, half it's past half ten, guys. Mm. Is it? Fucking yes. hell. And that's it for the show. Because that's our two hour slot filled. We don't have enough 20 minutes to take the pass. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, think that... we should get off before it's my turn. Kerrick has got another one. What? Where the fuck did this one come from? What one's this? Size is important. <sighs> <laughs> Do you just keep all these, Kerrick, or you don't delete? Because that one goes back a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got an entire fucking data centre with fucking memes of you on it. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've got a network drive just for you. Vic. Yes, Gail, very cherubic. Not. <laughs> Kerika keeps everything from everyone. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Right then, guys, that is it. Steve, would you like to uh, end the show? Yes, Steve. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. We uh, appreciate your viewership. Don't forget to check out the NNA because that's all that matters at the end of the day. It's boring, but it's all that matters. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, glad you made it. Uh, we thank Vic for coming. Thanks to Zan, as always. Thanks very much. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you same time, same channel, same day next week. Bye for Remember now. Remember, guys, from it, now it? on, it is from half past eight to half ten every Monday. So, say goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Oh, piss flaps. <laughs> <laughs> it can be now.